So we have another email question, and this email is from a subscriber who goes by the name or whose name is Aaron. And his email reads, Keith, can you please talk to me about some countries that would be a better home for American Christians in America? I'm getting sick of these COVID mask mandates. The town I live in has reissued an order for face masks, and it's affecting our church like it did back in 2020. It's not just a face mask, though. It's also some other things. And I've been thinking about relocating to another country after I complete my master's degree. Can you give me any tips or help for advice on which country that should be? Because I'm sick of America. I love your content. Thanks. Well, thank you, Aaron, for your email question. But I'll be honest, I can't give you any real advice on a better country to move to because I just don't know. But what I do know is most of you who have a problem with America, you have that problem because you've probably never been outside the country before. You have absolutely no idea how blessed you are to be a Christian if you are indeed a true Christian in America. We are the freest Christians in this world. And that's not totally a good thing, but it is a good thing because there are things we can do legally that Christians in other countries just can't do. Now, this question made me think about a recent Joe Rogan podcast that I just saw uh, where a woman from North Korea talks about the severity of the dictatorship of Kim um, and how it affects the citizens there. So listen to this uh, excerpt from this podcast from Joe Rogan's show. And what are the crimes that you could be sentenced to death for? It's as, as little as, so in North Korea, every room has to have a portrait of Kim's. And the inspector comes out of nowhere in the middle of the night and then touch the portraits if they see any dust. They say your royalty is not high enough. And then you can get executed and sent to prison camp through the generation of your family. And So if the picture is dusty, you get executed. Yeah, and if your house gets on a fire, the first thing is not you run with your family or your children or parents. You have to protect the portraits with your life. Otherwise, the three generation gets punished for that. You know, the center, of, the center of gravity of Christianity has shifted a number of times in history. Um, you, you read your Bible and you understand that the center of the faith was there in Jerusalem, right? We, we, we get that. Um, but if you read the book of Acts, you recognize that things changed things spread and the sort of center of gravity changed and now all of a sudden you know you've got Antioch and then eventually you have places like Alexandria um, and, and then eventually there is Geneva and you know and, and Europe continental Europe uh, eventually after that there is uh, Great Britain that becomes the, the center of the Christian universe if you will uh, and from that point the sort of center of the Christian universe moved uh, west to America and has been America for quite some time and continues to be America. America continues to be the, the center of the Christian universe. Uh, more than 95% of all Christian books are published in America. Uh, the greatest and strongest seminaries in the history of the church are in America. Um, the greatest and strongest churches, pastors and teachers are in America. Uh, most people in the world cannot think of two or three Christian authors whose books they feel like they need to read who are not American. And I know we complain a lot in America, right? Oh, the church is this. Oh, the church is that. Church in America is the strongest that it's ever been in the history of the world in terms of evangelism, in terms of the reach and power and influence of the church. Um, the church in America today is the most influential that the church has ever been in the history of the church in the world. So complain if you will. Uh, it's like people who complain about America. I would say if you're complaining about America, you haven't lived in another country. Can't say amen, you ought to say ouch, right? <laughs> if you're complaining about America, you've never lived in another country and you might need to, and it won't take long, a couple of months, a couple of months, country of your choice, you go live there for a couple of months, you will come back and kiss the ground. 